Financial advice is not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button on the YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data, but like I tell you every day, the data they released us is false. Money gives a false narrative of the markets. We can make bad trading decisions. Listen, people keep hitting me up about the AMC bankruptcy. Okay, I mean, and, and I know it's the shills that are still pushing this narrative that to, to, to try to, you know, get people to sell their shares because they're threatening that it's going to go down to zero. I'm going to tell you something. And, 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 and this is just my opinion. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. But think about this realistically. AMC cannot go bankrupt unless they deliberately make it go bankrupt. Okay, unless they deliberately make it go bankrupt. That's just my opinion. You know, well, not you know. The amount of money you make doesn't really matter. What matters is how you manage that money. You can make a million dollars a year. And at the end of the year. You owe $200,000 because you've been mismanaging that $1 million over the course of 12 months. And you might have $200,000 in credit card debt and other debts. And then you can have somebody who only makes $100,000 a year. And at the end of the year, they got about $30,000 saved. Their, their, their mortgages is almost paid off. Their cars are almost paid off. And they're living a very good life. And they're not under financial strain, financial stress, and they're only making a hundred thousand a year. Yet this person making a million dollars a year, at the end of the year, he is over two hundred thousand in debt. So it's not how much money you make, it's how you manage your money. So if Adam Aaron and the board allows AMC to go into bankruptcy with Billion dollar movie ticket sale, billion dollar concession sales. Um, the the popcorn in Walmart is gonna be a, I believe it's gonna be a billion dollar industry. That's that's how I see that popcorn going, and I believe it's gonna morph into different products. And then they're gonna do their AMC branded candy. They're gonna be selling it in the movie theaters, but that's gonna be probably moved over to be sold in Walmart also. So you got all these different revenue streams. So the only way, in my opinion, that AMC can go broke or go into bankruptcy is if they deliberately let it go into bankruptcy and they will be breaching their fiduciary responsibility to us shareholders. So once again, it's not how much money you make, it's how you manage that money. So if AMC goes into bankruptcy, it's because Adam Aaron and the board mismanaged that money because they're making more than enough money for AMC to be profitable. And like I told you in the previous video, I believe AMC is going to be profitable by the end of 2023. Just my opinion. And once again, I'm not saying to buy, hold, or sell AMC. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Is it the amount of money you make or how you manage that money that makes you successful? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.